With its rental fleet days behind it, the Impala's future has never looked brighter. Chevy has gone all in on this new 2014 model, and the resultant sedan is one they can be proud of. The Impala's origins date back to 1958, when it was offered as a coupe or convertible with an optional fuel-injected V8 engine. Starting price was $2,586. None of those things are available today, as this Impala plays in the large car class dominated by four and six cylinder power driving the front wheels. The model I get to play with this week is the highest trim offered, the 2LTZ fitted with GM's do-it-all 3.6 liter direct injected V6. Though a base Impala LS starts at 27,535, this fully loaded, luxuriously fitted model begins at 36,580. Add in these great looking 20 inch wheels, the extensive comfort and convenience package, navigation with Chevy MyLink, and a Bose 11 speaker sound system, and the total is 39510 pricing that's in line with its Ford, Chrysler, and Toyota competitors. The three aspects of this new Impala that impress me most are its design, power, and cabin, all of which shine in their own way to homologate a satisfying full-size sedan. I just love the body which GM has penned here, thoughtfully placed creases, a judicious use of chrome, with a dash of Camaro spirit, produces a captivating appearance with a signature American flair. Rated at 305 horsepower, the Impala really moves when you step on it and provides a little bit of theater at the same time. Working through a six-speed automatic, zero to 60 is gone in an eye-opening six seconds. This engine has been a huge winner for GM and it shines again here. But when you carry the most powerfully naturally aspirated V6 in the segment, fuel economy is likely to lag. And at an EPA rated 21 MPG combined, the Impala nets 2 to 3 MPG less than the others, despite gas saving features like active grille shutters. New electric steering is relaxed yet able to hold a line. The body is stiffer and handling sharper connecting the driver to the car in a pleasing, class-appropriate way. The trade-off, and the biggest complaint I have about the ride quality, is its harshness over irregularities, where the McPherson struts and narrow sidewalls of the Bridgestone Potenzas don't do enough to gloss over rough pavement. I was hoping for more of a lacrosse-type sumptuous ride. It does have the Buick quietness to the cabin, however. And inside is a symmetrical dash layout with a combination of jet black and Mojave leather, which really lends an upscale look. And as far as features go, it's all here. Items like a heated steering wheel, a top-notch infotainment system with OnStar, a panoramic moonroof, heated and cooled seats, a high-res color gauge display, and smart key operation. Not long ago, these were reserved for luxury cars and now appear in a Chevy, including forward collision alert, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, side blind zone alert, and a rear camera with park assist. The rear seats are long trip comfortable for at least two more, though the hump in the floor makes three across not as friendly. And its 19 cubic feet of trunk space with pass through to the rear is second only to the Taurus as the biggest boot in the industry. And maximizing stuff at space carries over inside with a cubby behind the Navi screen. The 2014 Impala doesn't offer an all-wheel drive option like its American counterparts. But as long as that doesn't deter you, this is an evolution of a storied nameplate definitely done right. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.